All right, so another uh, couple examples here of adding or subtracting fractions. So in part A here, we've got uh, 7 over 9 minus 2 over 15. So to do this uh, subtraction in this case, we're going to have to get common denominators. So again, uh, the way that I'm going to find the least common denominator is, again, I look at multiples of the largest one. So uh, 15 is not divisible by 9, so that doesn't work. The next multiple would be 30. 30, again, is not divisible by 9, so that one doesn't work. The next multiple of 15 would be 45. Well, uh, 45 is divisible by 9, so that works. So now I'm thinking, well, I want a 45 in my denominator, okay? I want to have a 45 in my denominator. So what do I have to multiply the first denominator by to get a 45? Well, I guess 9 times 5 is going to give us 45. But again, whenever you multiply the denominator of a fraction by some number, you have to do it to the numerator as well. And again, all you're really doing is multiplying by 5 over 5, or you're just multiplying by 1. So you're kind of changing the way the fraction looks, but it's, it's still the same. You know, if you put it into a, a calculator, you're going to get the same decimal. Okay, so the same thing with the next one. Again, I want a 45 in the denominator. Well, 15 times what is 45? Well, I guess 15 times 3. So we'll have to multiply the numerator as well. And now we've kind of done the hard part. To me, we're in business. We've, we've found the common denominator. 7 times 5 is 35. Again, over 45. 2 times 3 is 6. Over 45. Well, we can subtract 35 minus 6 is going to give us 29. Over 45. Um, I always think, does this reduce uh, 29? Well, I think 29 is actually a prime number. So... No way we can kind of factor and cancel and reduce this fraction. So there's our solution. Um, one more example here. We've got 4 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 5 over 6. Now I'm going to do the same thing I, I said I was going to a second ago, which is uh, in general I just write these as single fractions just from the get-go. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2. We can write that as 14 thirds. Okay, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11 over 6. I'm thinking, you know, what's the least common denominator? So I look at my largest fraction, uh, my largest uh, denominator, the largest denominator of my fraction. Let me say it that way, 6. Well, again, clearly 6 is divisible by 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Uh, definitely. So that's going to be our least common denominator. So what we can do is we can multiply top and bottom of our first fraction by 2. Again, that'll make a denominator of 6 appear. So we'll get 28 over 6 plus 11 over 6. Well, 28 uh, plus 11 is going to give us, I guess, 39 over 6. And, of course, you could always turn this back in, into a mixed number. Typically, since we started with mixed numbers, I'll, I'll, I'll put it back as a mixed number. So 6 goes into 39 uh, six times. I think we would have 3 left over, our denominator of 6. And we can reduce 3 over 6 to 1 half. So it looks like our final, uh, our final answer here, we can write it as 6 and 1 half.